So I'm at Motorway Services. Uh, this is GridServe. Um, it's usually very busy here. You can see this, uh, this two charging bays. Uh, that one's got a Chadamo on it and that one has got two CCSs. Um, I think there's an issue with GridServe. They can only charge one car at a time, but I, uh, I do know that GridServe are working on that. Um, so I'm going to plug in and we'll see how much extra range we get um, in the time it takes to go buy a cup of coffee. I've not used these chargers before, so uh, let's see uh, what it says. Set one, plug in the car, then tap the pavement. So uh, let's give it a go, see how this works out. Just got to open the CCS flap. It's on the driver's side of the car. So that's plugged in. It says connect OK. There's the payment. And it says, and I'll tick the box for start. Okay, maybe I have to press start and then tap the payment. Let's see how that goes. I've got a white flashing light. That means the charger is talking. Um, so let's see if this starts up. Well, I couldn't get the charger over there to work at all. So I've come over to this one, which is a combined CCS Chadamo unit. And uh, it's finally kicked in and it's going. Um, it's about, I think it's all about getting the sequence right of selecting the charger, turning it to start um, using the contactless card. Um, so not quite as straightforward as the instructions at the top. Uh, but nevertheless, you can see that I am charging. It's an expensive charge, um, so I won't be here long. It's just long enough to go buy a cup of coffee. Hi everyone, well I've got my Starbucks. Um, let's go see how the car's doing. I did look on the app, and although this charger says 120 kilowatts on it, um, I have read online that it's 120 kilowatts shared between both connections, and at the moment they don't really have the ability to do both connections at the same time. Um, so it's actually charging at 50, so it's a 50 kilowatt charger and um, I'll just put the coffee down and we'll take a look and see how the car's got on. Right, well there we go, uh, gone from 30% to 38. I've been charging for, that's just coming up to seven minutes and I have put in 5.8 kilowatt hours. So let's just stop that and I'm gonna go unplug. Well, I've uh, I've made it home um, as, uh, I knew I would, having uh, topped up and bought that coffee. Uh, so um, we put 5.8 kilowatts into the car. That took seven minutes. Now, 50 kilowatt charger will put in 50 kilowatts in an hour. And uh, that, of course, means it puts in just under one kilowatt every minute. So uh, the two factors really about the range that that's going to add while you do it is how fast is your charger and how efficient is your car? So... Um, this Audi is pretty inefficient. Um, it, uh, on the way to work, it did 2.3 miles uh, for every kilowatt hour. Uh, on the way back down, it's just done 2.9 miles for every kilowatt hour. So um, that's a lot worse than some cars. If you had, say, uh, a VW ID4 or a Tesla Model Y, you would probably be getting four miles for every kilowatt hour. Had I stopped at uh, the Shell charger at Chalmers Ford, I'd have been charging 150 kilowatts per hour. And that, of course, is two and a half kilowatts for every minute. So, you know, a Tesla or a, an ID4 charging up at Shell, um, you know, they're going to be putting in about 10 miles of extra range per minute. Uh, this Audi on that grid serve charger, a 50 kilowatt charger, uh, wasn't gaining anything like as much. So in the seven minutes, I gained about 17 miles of range um, for today's efficiency. Um, on the run up to work at the same seven minute charge, that would have only gained about 12 miles of uh, extra range. Uh, but nevertheless, it does uh, prove a couple of things. Uh, firstly, if the range of your car isn't quite enough, um, it's not about kind of you know, getting a 300 mile range car or anything. It's just, what does it take to top up uh, to give you that little bit extra? And that just shows that in a seven minute charge, I could just top up there and um, and gain a, enough extra to get home with a margin. So you don't always have to think about uh, electric cars in terms of the, the total range of the car and refilling the battery to full. It's 
it's just about how much extra to complete the journey that I need to do. I know that I'm now at home. I know that I have a, a charger on the wall and I can plug in and I can fill the car up from here. And of course, the other big factor is the cost. Um, electricity prices went up this week. Uh, my home charging cost has gone up and I'm going to do another video about that. So that charge, 5.8 kilowatts at grid serve at 65 pence per kilowatt hour. That was £3.77. Um, the two last petrol stations I came through, they were selling petrol at 163.9 per litre. So that charge that I did is pretty much exactly the same price as half a gallon of, of petrol. Um, so if I got 17 miles out of the cost of half a gallon, it's, it's equivalent cost to doing about 34 miles per gallon in the car. Um, that's not great on economy, but a high performance large car like this one would have to have probably the three litre V6 turbo in it to give anything like the kind of performance and smoothness of this Audi. Uh, so it's probably not far out. Um, you know, 34 to the gallon in a, in a large high performance car is probably sensible. If I had a more efficient car, um, more efficient electric car like the ID4 or like the Tesla, I might be looking at um, a more efficient kind of petrol equivalent. So at the moment, it's not costing me a great deal more to run this um, using public chargers than it would be if I had the petrol equivalent of the car. Uh, when I charge at home, obviously that is significantly less. And, um, and I think it's still working out cheaper than buying um, any kind of equivalent large diesel car.